Hello Pisces, this is Lex. I'm here with your October reading. I have already pre-shuffled and drawn your cards. I will go through the way that they came out and then I will rearrange and clarify as necessary. Please comment and like if this resonates with you. If it does not, you may want to check your moon rising or Venus. If you have not already, please subscribe and to book personal readings. There's a link in the description below, okay? First card I have out is 10 of water. Eight of fire. Three of water. Queen of fire. Eight of air. And the empress. Okay, Pisces. Okay, so I see a lot of water. I see a lot of fire here. You could be dealing with another water sign. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. These are general readings, but I'm getting the, the, the sense here that what's going on with you in the month, month of October is very much love related. Um... Some of you may be moving soon, okay? Events moving at a fast pace. Eight of fire is the same as eight of wands. This could be referring to you moving to a new location. You all may be at a distance or you may be desiring to move somewhere else and you feeling like you are trapped where you are with this eight of air. I have the queen of fire. This is a confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful individual. Is saying don't underestimate yourself stretch your wings and fly and this is paired with the Empress nurture yourself and others I have the three of water and the ten of water a celebration the need to have more fun trustworthy relationships your emotional and material needs are met okay so let's clarify all of this for you, Pisces. I have the Two of Cups paired with the Sun, I believe. Yep, the Sun. I'm definitely feeling like this is, is love here. I love this is turning into a love reading again I, I just do these general and just read everything how it comes out you're one of you are wanting to make a move and the other one doesn't I do feel that the move is going to be a successful and prosperous one so whichever one of you is not feeling it hold on whichever one of you the two of you this partnership here, whichever one of you is not feeling the move needs to get on the boat. You need to get with the program, okay? What advice do we have for Pisces? All in all, Pisces, you need to do what is best for you. Do not underestimate yourself. If you are doubting yourself in this move, you need to lay your burdens down at the master's feet. This is what I'm getting when I look at this car. He's 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 done. He's like, you know what? I come to you as humbly as I know how, Father God. Just help me. All these wands are standing up behind him. The world is at his back. And he's kneeling before the Lord. Everything will work out and it will be balanced. You could also be dealing with the Libra. Okay. Let's get some romance oracles to kind of like clarify this. Because like I said, this is turning into a love reading. See what other messages we have for you. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. And getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to want each other, your bond deepens. Okay. Yeah, so one of you basically is afraid to make a move. That's what I'm getting here. This is definitely a love message, and one of you is scared to make a move. 
um, you're feeling the attraction, you're feeling the pull to one another, um, but for whatever reason you feel like there, there's some sort of issue, it could be that you may be moving for work. You may be moving for work, Pisces, and you're not sure if it's going to work out long distance. That's for some of you. You're being very much rewarded for all the work that you put in, and you're going to be making a lot of money with this move. Um, clarify this five of swords, Holy Spirit. Who is feeling the five of swords? Where's the five of swords coming from? Please clarify the five of swords. Okay, so we clarified the five of swords with the hermit and the queen of pentacles. Okay, so one of you may be feeling like someone is not being genuine or wholesome or that they will not be with you. Um, one of you may also be feeling like the other person is being very selfish and self-serving and just trying to get ahead on your coattails. But that's not the case here with this hermit and this queen of, of pentacles. Could be a Virgo or some other earth sign, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, or Taurus. This is a very grounded person. This is a very warm person. This is a very nurturing person who does not walk away very easily. So if you push this person away, you you deserve for them to leave you. Okay? Let's get an Archangel Oracle for you. I just feel like if you're questioning the move or the distance, whatever the situation is, it definitely is a romantic situation where one of you I feel like is going to leave and the other person is kind of questioning the other person's um, sincerity. And you shouldn't. I have here clear cognizance and clear audience. So with the clear cognizance, pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. And then I have clear audience. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. Hear what I'm saying. Okay. This move is going to be for both of you's best interests. Amen. All right, Pisces. Um. Sorry. This is your October reading. Please like, comment if any of this resonated with you. If it did not, you may want to check your moon rising in Venus to book personal readings. I do have a link in the description below. And if you have not already, my love, please subscribe. Okay. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Take care.